Hello, it's Joe here. Today I'll be showing you how to convert a colored picture to black and white in Photoshop CS5. The reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I think that's the best way, the professional way and the easiest way as well to convert pictures. Right, so let's choose a picture. I think this one is okay. We are in Photoshop CS5 now and you can see there's a nice colors on the picture. What we need to do now, we need to put our adjustment layer, black and white, and that will create a new layer, new black and white layer. And as you can see, we have a lot of colors, situations color here to play with. Obviously, we can change each color of each picture. It's a very, very cool effect. I'm not gonna bother going through all of them. What I'll do, I'll reset this, and what we can do is to click on the target adjustment tool which is this button here that's the target adjustment tool and on if you click on the picture itself it will tell you which color it is that's a nice and efficient way to play with your colors on your black and white picture so I'll leave this dark I'd like to leave this bit brighter I'd like the board to be a bit brighter as well that's nice okay That's nice. Now what we need to do, I would like to increase the contrast on this picture. To do that, hit your back button and go to your curves and hit on increase contrast. That's too dark for me, some people prefer it like this and add their effects afterwards. But what I'll do, I will change it to linear contrast. This is much nicer um, than the increase contrast itself. Now. What I need to do, we need to create two effects to this picture. A vignette effect and a border. To do that, I would like to create a new layer. What you need to do, I'll click on Alt key and a new layer, which will bring this window here with some properties to it. I will change the mode to overlay and fill this with 50% gray. That will do basically, it will create um, a gray background layer with 50% pixels which will not affect the picture. Now I would like to add my border effect from this effect button here, hit stroke and I would like to change this to 15. Obviously you can change the color of the border to whatever color you'd like but for this picture I would like to leave it on as white as it is, it's very nice. I'll hit OK now what we need to do is to add this vignette effect. To do that you need to go to filter, lens correction and go to your custom tab and here is our vignette effect. I'll take this all of the way to the left to minus 100. Basically what that did added four dark shadows on the corner of the picture which is a very nice effect to the picture. On the midpoint as well I'll take this to 30 I think. Yeah, as you can see this has created a circle with a vignette effect we've already created. We'll hit OK, as you can see we have our picture here, black and white with a white border. What I can do now, if we select all your layers and hit Ctrl G, that will group them all up and what we can do to see before and after. So if I take this eye, that's before and that's after and I think that's a very nice black and white pictures with the cool effects I'm sure. Thank you.